Hi guys and welcome to 123MyIT's video on how to remove a boot camp partition. Okay guys, so in a previous video I showed you how to install Windows 8.1 on your Mac via boot camp and now I'm going to show you how to remove that partition. So let's say you've used Windows 8, you didn't like it or you use Windows 7, you didn't like it and you want to remove the partition. Okay, the easiest way, there's actually two ways you can do it. The easiest way is obviously just to run the boot camp assistant again. Okay, so if we go continue and it says bootcamp assistant will help you perform one or more of the following tasks select all the tasks you need to perform and you can see now because we already have the uh, windows installed it actually now says remove windows 7 or later version okay so you can hit continue there it will partition it or it will set the hard drive back to use up all the space on the drive so it will actually delete your windows partition and then you can go restore and you can do it that way um, this is actually the better way out of the two ways that I'm going to show you to do it because this will actually remove the Windows uh, partition when you boot your machine. When you hold down your option uh, key and you restart your Mac, you actually won't have that available anymore. So you can just close that now. And now I'll show you the second way to remove it. So if we go up to Go and then go to Utilities, go into Disk Utility. Click on your hard drive, go to partition, click on your boot camp partition, so this is the one we want to remove, click on your minus sign, click remove, All right. click back on your uh, Mac partition here and we want to drag it all the way down All right, and we want to go apply. So then the next uh, step here is to click on partition and that will actually delete the partition and set it back. I'm not going to do it at the moment because uh, last time I attempted this while recording the video, the video didn't capture the rest of the, the uh, video. However, if you go through and hit partition, you'll get a little bar across the bottom here that will uh, take maybe, well, depending on the size of your drive, will take maybe no longer than one to two minutes, I'd say. And once that's complete, then you will have just your Macintosh HD and uh, your OneDrive and you will have the... Um, all the space assigned back to that Macintosh HD. Okay guys, so that's pretty much it. If this was helpful, please leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching. Bye bye.